much, you know, what's it like for you coming into training camp after you've got a full year starting under your belt and you know, you're, you're a veteran now, right? Yeah, it's, um, it's different not being in a competition every single snap with somebody directly, but I mean, we're still in competition every day, obviously. It's more about mastering the playbook now and helping others come along and understand it more. Where do you think this offense can improve the most in year two under Watson? It's a lot of different things. We've got to improve on pretty much every aspect of our game since last year. Um, if we want to win more games, we're not going to be able to play that way we did last year. So protection, run game, everything. How, how big, maybe this is an obvious question, but how big would it be to have just more effective, consistent quarterback play you know, from game one all the way through the whole season? Which, I mean, you guys, you guys changed guys. Yeah, you know, definitely. Always um, how much can that help? The most important position, I'd say, is the quarterback. And I think a lot of people are that. So having one guy for the first 12, 13, 14, 14, 14 games is very important. So it's going to be nice having Kenny as long as everybody stays healthy. That's like the key to getting through camp and getting through the whole season is staying healthy and consistent. So having one main guy behind behind the center is, is going to be important for us. Where does the center fall in that hierarchy? QB's number one. <laughs> I'll let you decide that. <laughs> uh, there, there's been a lot of talk from Narduzzi and, and some of the players that, you know, he wants the leadership to be better than last year. He thinks it will be because there's more seniors. But how exactly does that sort of work from a player leadership standpoint. Like, you're not a senior, but, I mean, can you still do more to sort of take charge and, and kick people in the butt than you did a year ago? Yeah. Um, it all starts with accountability and buying into our goal. ACC champs, we break out on that every day. So if we're all bar bought in, it's easy to be a leader. So And it's easy to hold yourself accountable and others around you. So really, we focus on our position group, with Books and I, and making sure we're all going in the right path. And today, our quiet time topic was attitude and maturity. So. If we all have the same attitude every day going in to be ACC champs, it's not hard to be a good leader if everybody's on the same page. How's it coming together with, with you, Connor, Mike, Alex, and stuff? Yeah. Good, really well. We're all close. We had a great summer. Um, probably the best summer since I've been here, especially in terms of chemistry and the line. We've been hanging out a lot when we're outside of this building. We're, we're tight. we got a tight group, which is I'm mean, really happy about. Is it easier to focus on those leadership things and maybe help other guys around this year's camp as opposed to last year when you're probably going through trying to remember everything in the playbook and you, you probably have your mind in a different place this year, right? It's a lot different, yeah. So last year I was more focused on winning my job and really understanding the playbook because <clears throat> excuse me, I was surrounded by four seniors or four guys, one guy returning. And then now I'm surrounded by, we have upperclassmen, but now I'm surrounded by just one other returning starter mm -hmm. and myself. So I have to branch out more and focus on the younger guys now this year. The, the two guys next to you, mean, Connor and Mike, they don't have a ton of experience, but they're redshirt seniors, right? Yeah, they're so, experienced, I mean, yeah. They're, does it, you know, do you see the, just that age, that kind of maturity? There, there was no really drop off from last year to this year. Those were really good players. I, I'm really happy I got this year. What does lock the gates mean? And what does it mean to you? <laughs> to me, when we step on that field on Saturdays, lock the gates and don't let them out. It's not going to be an enjoyable experience for the other team. That's how it's always been. We have that above our locker room at Heinz when we tap the top, lock the gates. So that's what it means for me. Don't let them out until we come out with the dub.